A call to end the special legislative session on just the second day gets shot down. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shammer. I'm Quinicia Fraser. The governor's plan for property tax relief was moved along, but not exactly forward. We have team coverage tonight as local school districts prepare for the outcome in Lincoln. First, KTV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine breaks down the session so far. Maddie? Bill Quinicia, more than a dozen bills were introduced during day two of the special session, several of which are an effort to get the ball rolling on property tax reform without changing everything at once, like many argue Governor Jim Pillen's plan does. 36 senators in attendance for day two of Nebraska's special session. Just minutes into the day, a motion to adjourn signee die from Senator Justin Wayne, meaning the session would end with no return date planned. The effort overwhelmingly denied. Vote is four A's, 34 nays, Mr. President, on the motion to adjourn signee die. The motion fails, Mr. Clerk. Voting against the motion, Senator Danielle Conrad says it shows many senators are frustrated with the process, but she says it's important they continue. The public has a right to weigh in. We need to have public hearings on all of these bills that are coming in, including the governor's plan. Conrad says senators have several ideas to ensure tax equity. It's like our homestead exemption program, which provide direct property tax relief to seniors, the disabled, and veterans, and those who most need the help. That idea introduced Friday in LB30, Senator Jen Day's bill that would provide a prorated homestead exemption to veterans who are partially disabled due to service. In a statement, Day says, quote, this is the least we can do for those who have served and sacrificed for our country. But day two ending with a twist many didn't see coming. The reference committee voting five to four to send LB1, Governor Jim Pillen's main property tax reform bill, introduced by Senator Lou Ann Linehan, to the government committee. To open up so many statutes that ought to go to government because uh, government kind of handles these type of things. It's more appropriate for the revenue committee who has already dealt with this issue to uh, uh, decide on this bill. Opponents argue it better fits in the Revenue Committee because nearly three-fourths of the bill is tax policy. Senator Lou Ann Linehan did raise a motion to re-reference it there, and she says she's confident that will happen. Back to you. All right, Maddie, thank you.